this fucking good. lyric back to the stupid ass valley. No, <laughs> that's what I would say because I'm about the west side, the best side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a spot by the ocean. The when, breeze comes over my block. When he you're said, in the valley, sitting in the hot heat, trying to massage your own cock. Oh, you're freestyling now. I guess so. <laughs> I tried to make fun of you in the valley. No, I, no, no. The you, best I can come up with was you masturbating. That wasn't bad. <laughs> Um, it's always 50. You know what I would say about the West side of my rap? It's always 15 degrees cooler where I live. Yeah. It's very informational, <laughs> but not, it's always but, 50 degrees, 15 degrees cooler than your place. <laughs> but metaphorical. Yo. Oh yeah. It's yeah. cooler over here. Right. Hey, like the fonts. Pretty cool. Yeah. The shit's tight. I hit the jukebox on its side. Make it play all your hits. Your place is so hot because it's caught in between mountains. <laughs> But I don't like to rap, rhyme when I rap, though. It's fucking beneath. Why me. would you? It's beneath me. Why would you? You know, you're in a, you're in between mountains, and that's why it's so much hotter where you live, because the smog and the heat gets trapped. It gets trapped. <laughs> to be, the San Gabriel Mountains keeps the heat from getting out. You know what I mean? If you live right, near, say, right, you make fun of the west side. I'm in front of the valley. Okay, you live near the ocean. Obviously, it's breezy. But what you need all that breeze for? Cheesy. <laughs> no, I don't like to rhyme. <laughs> okay, I, I was gonna call you out. Yeah. That's what I would do during the battle. Cheesy, I was, right? Yeah, yeah. I would do, hit the guys. Do it before you do it. Yeah. That's the the good version of Brian Callen just going ha ah, ha during your set. Yes, you're right, Brian Callen. You look like a pug. There you go. Um, all right. You live in the valley. Yeah. Or you're, you're <laughs> I don't know. I'm going. trying to figure oh, out how this will go. I live in the valley. This will be a historic podcast. Two white guys trying to have a freestyle hip hop battle about their rich homes. I live in the valley where technically I could basically, I'm in that coffee bean more than anybody else, you know? Uh, yeah, the Baja Fresh closed down, but there's a five guys gonna open up really soon. Fuck five guys. <laughs> I got two guys that work at Starbucks on the corner with my saw box. My $5 bill gets me a venti ice, which I don't even need because it's 15 degrees cooler because where I live is nice. Ocean breeze, summertime style, front yard, backyard, without the valley mile. You got to walk like a dog in the heat and the soot. Motherfucker, we're clean with the beach at our foots. Yeah, okay. I, I like it, but I don't, I don't like the rhyme. Lose. I don't like, I don't, I don't think you should because it Why, takes away too, from Because it's too hard? <laughs> no, 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 no. I like because... how you take the elemental, fundamental yeah. skill of it yeah. and go, yeah, that's the part I don't like. <laughs> like, look, yeah. look, I like math and all. I don't like showing my work. <laughs> I stay where it's hot in the valley. It doesn't matter to me. I could still drive to Hollywood in 10 minutes. All I do is. <laughs> <laughs> You have I, a very Eminem flow. Thank you. Honestly. I drive. Doesn't he sound like Eminem? I could, um, you know, I got my home, you know, <laughs> I don't want to say where I live, but um, I got my home. I can't tell you where I live, obviously, because this is going over a podcast, but I could be in Hollywood in 10 minutes. My second home is the comedy store and the Laugh Factory. Yo, homie, I respect you spend so much time on the stage, but let me rearrange for the fans and their ear holes what you're talking about where your home is from. It's hogwash, <laughs> because if you're on Coldwater Canyon, motherfucker, you live next to a car wash. Everyone else driving their shit through your hood on your time on your watch. That's baloney, son. Come up on my block. You get a right fist to your brain, because I ain't got no Glocks. God is my bodyguard. Two lefts, one right, kick to your midsection, and I'm the type of fool that'll bite you fucking nuts. Yo... That's kind of gay. <laughs> That's kind of gay. It's kind of gay when you say you will bite my nuts, but I'm within two walking distance of two coffee beans. See, if I said Starbucks, it would have rhymed. That's why I didn't say Starbucks. Oh, you <laughs> nuts and bucks kind of rhymed, so I said coffee bean. No, I believe I'm in between. Not to I'm mention it's Pete's Coffee. Okay, a lot of y'all may not know what that is if you're not from the West Coast, but basically it's like kind of a ripped off version of coffee bean. That's my, and that would be my rap. And then everyone would be like, oh. Yeah, informational. Yeah, very informational. It's also informational. You're really, uh, you're, you're like, <laughs> you're like Surrey of rappers. Oh, <laughs> oh, you think the chin chin hot in, on sunset in I the know. Hollywood area? Yeah, I bet you didn't know there was a chin chin next to that Pete's. <laughs> right? I know exactly where you live in the valley now because you just gave me your coordinates. But, but I'm going to tell you something. It ain't that ordinary to live next to a Chinese restaurant, a Pete's Coffee, and such and such. Now I don't even want to rhyme anymore. Rhyming, rhyming is for plebeians. Yo, I live near a lot of diamond shops. They sell a lot of... 
Basically, it made me think of why do people even go into those? I never seen anybody in them diamond shops. See, I don't write it down. I just think it off the top of my head. Yeah, because all mine, as you can see right here, <laughs> finally, I get yeah. to crack open yeah. my hip-hop, hip-hop notebook. Um, so you're Tupac, Tech 9 Eminem, Eric Sermon, and Guru. I'm going KRS-100, 3000, LL Cool J, Biggie, Eminem. The only one number one I got is KRS, and your number one is Tupac. So then, my friend, who battles and wins Tupac versus Big? Uh, Tupac well, versus KRS-1. But, but KRS-1 was a battler, though. Tupac wasn't. You're telling me if Tupac had a month to prepare, he couldn't death. Oh, no, Tupac would. I think Tupac everybody. would. I think Tupac would win. He's. I mean, Karras won. I, you know, he's. He's great. the battle at, rapper. At battle rapping. Yeah. Grandmaster, I mean, Blastmaster. How about this Karras. lyric? While you're respecting Tupac, Tupac respects me. That's Karras won. That shit's the tightest. He, did he say that? Yeah. That is, that On is sneak pretty attack. tight, though. You stu- I'm studying God. You're studying titties and ass. I pity your class. Well, I you like was- when he says, uh, I'm Whoever not saying I'm number dope, one. I'm already- Sorry, I lied. Oh, I'm saying I'm number one, two, three, four, M5. Yeah. That's dope. That's no, he's a battle rapper. Yeah, Karras one, you got to give it to him no matter who he battles. There's Put this on the I Tumblr thought- page. There's a thing on YouTube of Karras one going, every year I look at the Billboard Top 10. And if you're in that Top 10, and he says it's super, end, I got a rhyme that will end your career. That's no. how I stay sharp. When did he say that? No disrespect. He doesn't put a T on disrespect. Yeah, why would he? He goes, no he disres- have time. Don't disrespect. But if you're in that top ten, I got a rhyme for you, and it will end your career. Where does he say that on? It's on YouTube. KRS One Battle. Oh, It'll be on the funny. Tumblr page, guaranteed. Look it up right now. Chris D'Elia, Whitney got moved to Fridays with Community. Did yeah, you go over with another show? So ours that's at eight o'clock, and then Community is on. Eight o'clock, Whitney. We start the night off at 8 o'clock, and after that, that's community. After that, it doesn't, I don't really know, because that's when I go out and start my Friday night. It doesn't concern him. What burns him is what you watch at 8. At 9 o'clock, that's your business. I'm going <laughs> to stop rhyming as well. Why I would just you... sounded like Harvey Keitel. No. <laughs> it doesn't matter at 9 o'clock. Who gives a shit? It matters if you get a better number than you're leading. That's right. <laughs> I like my favorite comeback was sounded pretty gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bite your nuts <laughs> with I'll bite your nuts softly. Yo, I my teeth. I'll gum your nuts. <laughs> That's my. If you're gonna go bumpy knuckles, I'm gonna go gum your nuts. <laughs> bumpy knuckles is hard. Look up bumpy knuckles, dude. When you when you, I'm saying you know on your own time. Uh, as a baseball fan, I gotta give it up for Pepsi Max. You'll like this contest. They mm-hmm. took an American mm-hmm. League team of living legends and a National oh, League yeah. team of living legends. Juan Gonzalez. Juan Gun, going, going, <laughs> Gonzalez. Yeah, I remember that. Chris, Chris Berman. Berman, yeah. Back, 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 gone! Jose, can you see Canseco? Not on the team. Look at these rosters, Chris D'Elia. National League, Johnny Bench, Dan Musial, Andre Dawson, Trevor Hoffman, Fred McGriff, Ryan Sandberg, Andre Randy Johnson, Dawson, dude. Ozzie Smith, Mike Schmidt, Tony Gwynn. These guys will come to your hometown if your name is Johnny Parati or Stephen Catchmark. Those are the two winners. The American League wow. team, those Stephen Catchmark's team, Johnny Parati's team, Yogi Berra. I, you know what? I Probably I could beat him to the bag. Is Other Johnny than... Parati Italian? No. <laughs> Frank Thomas, Rod Carew, Cal Ripken Jr., Brooks Robinson, two Orioles. Look at that. Three. Jim Palmer, Ricky Henderson, Reggie Jackson, King Rippey Jr., Dennis Eckersley, Paul Molitor. Uh, Johnny Parati is the American League team rep. Stephen Catchmark is the National League rep. Johnny Parati is from Rochester, New York, holding it down to its very last compound. See how it sounds? A little unrational. A lot of MCs like to use the word dramatical, and that's fresh. For 88, you suckers. That shit was in 1988, Chris. Wow. Still as hard as anything happening right now. That's KRS. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sway you over. To no, the I like side. KRS. Yeah, but to put bumpy knuckles in your top five. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put a guy in there that a lot of sticky people don't know. Sticky fingers from Onyx? Okay. No, it, you're, you gotta, he's not like sticky fingers, dude. Fingers. Stephen Catchmark's from Washington, D.C. Uh, Johnny Prati has the American League Dream Team, Dream, uh, Team, and the National League Dream Teamers is Stephen Catchmark's. Uh, basically go to Pepsi Max, uh, go to MLB.com slash Pepsi Max and vote for who should host this game. Them and all their buddies get to play against the stars. So it'd be like you and wow, all your that's friends. crazy. It is like the craziest contest I've ever heard of. 
And every time those I are go, like stars, the greatest yeah. living legends. That's and, crazy. Like Cal Ripken's going to go to your. Why hometown. did they agree to do this? I guess the for money. A, I guess a fee. Yeah, but it has all to be a lot of money. Is there anybody here not in the Hall of Fame? Molitor, yes. Eckersley, yes. Palmer, yes. Molitor's Ricky, in yes. the Hall of Fame. Oh yeah, three thousand hits. You're in, baby. Junior, Reggie, Brooks Robinson, Cal Ripken, Rod Crew, Frank Thomas, Yogi Bear, everyone, every single per. Fred McGrath, Andre Dawson just got in. Randy Johnson will be your first ballot. Mike Schmidt, Tony, every single person, Trevor Hoffman, yeah, every single person on these teams is in the actual Hall of Fame. That's crazy. That's amazing. Really I would is. be happy if, like, the fucking 88 Mets came to my house. Jesse Orozco with his fucking, Jesse Orozco. he looks like the Indian, Cleveland Indian logo with that weird long That's face. Uh, so here's the deal. Go to MLB.com slash Pepsi Max and vote. Even if you don't care at all about this contest, Pepsi Max sponsors more stories. That's why I'm reading this right now. And it's kind of a big deal that a soft drink sponsors a podcast. So if you just go to MLB.com slash Pepsi Max and vote, they will know where you came from. They'll know that you came from more stories. You can leave comments anywhere you want. And then hopefully they can sponsor us more and sponsor the 10 minute podcast, other podcasts. It's about time we crack the corporate code and let the money flow because these podcasts are free, dude. You know what else is free? Whitney, 8 p.m. on Fridays. Yeah. Whitney Cummings steps to the batter's box. Uh, She's a 300 hitter. I don't know why my guy got so bizarre. Uh, she a co-stars 300 hitter. with Chris Delia. A lot of people say Delia, Delilah. That's not the case. His last people name is Delia. Say. There's ball one to Whitney Cummings. Chris Delia. His hobbies include hip hop, freestyle, rhyming, but he doesn't like to rhyme. He takes the rhyming out, taking the fundamental uh, hip hop. Speaking of outs, there's a pop fly in the first. Whitney's retired. I love when they got to work in the conversation know, to the actual I know, I know. action that happens. I, I tried to do a bit about that once, and it just nobody really. I wasn't good. Do it now. No, you did. Anthony Clark used to do a bit like when they'd read. Uh, the commercials during the game, like, oh my God, Kevin Seitzer, Grand Slam home run. Friends, nothing says loving like something from the <laughs> oven. Edmonds chocolate chip cookies. Kevin Seitzer. That's funny. How do you remember shit? You have a good memory. Because I've only done everything for a year and a half at a time. We're only a year and a half into this podcast. Three years from now, I'll go, I don't know what happened. No, but, it, but how but do I don't you remember, remember other people's bits? How do you remember that? Because I steal them. <laughs> Don't you read the interweb? No, I don't I'm know. I'm more Mencia. No, I've been accused of stealing bits. Oh, well, who hasn't? Which is that you? No. What bits have you stolen? I stole. I'm going to steal your uh, one about cats. Hey, boss! One of those big notebooks. <laughs> All right, so Chris out. Uh, Chris out. Chris, I can't even talk. Chris D'Elia, the ten minute podcast. Leave a comment. Rate it. Subscribe to it if you wish. Yeah. And uh, right now, rate and subscribe uh, more stories. Brother, I'm really glad you came, and we'll do it again, okay? Dude, I, I'm, I love that I came here. Thanks, man. Let's do it uh, when you get that season three pickup. When those numbers are monsters on Friday nights, okay, I'm going to cool. bring you back and go, see what's up. Sounds what's up? Good. You know and why talk, Whitney's and, successful? And talk to me on Twitter. Because she goes to the Starbucks At and the Chris coffee D'Elia. bean. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to come back. I'm going to follow you right now, Chris D'Elia. Okay, i got to follow you. Do you remember what your last tweet was? I think it was something about... I was following Brian Callen, and he didn't. He like wouldn't tweet for a month. All he does is tweet about his fucking body. Now, but back in the day, he barely tweeted at all. Uh, uh, this is, The podcast is over. If you guys want to tap out, Chris and I are really just talking yeah. nonsense at this point. This is bullshit. This is just total bullshit. Everyone's bullshit. No, but we're having fun. I don't even... This is, this is a fun podcast, by the way. I'm going to rep it. Uh, I appreciate that because be I like, could always use uh, when I, more, when, more guests. When mine comes out, uh, yours. My, when this one comes out, I'm gonna I'm gonna write it. I'm gonna write it on Twitter and be like, "You guys, you wrote your last tweet. Do you remember? Don't look at it. Do I you don't remember, remember what it was. Look at these like shirtless shots. You were Abercrombie and Fitch. No, no, I do that because I'm romantic. You're a very handsome man. What, what? Much handsomer than that pug. So wait, what do I write? What did I write? I don't. Your know. last one was check out this fucking idiot that doesn't understand real poetry. Oh yeah, I do poetry, real serious romantic poetry. To those of you, you wrote. To those of you who think I'm not good at poetry, try this one on for size. I can see a blood-stained face in your eyes. That's what I thought. 
Right. I think I read it the right way, too. Yeah, you, you did, yeah. The guy under you writes, just because of that stupid-ass poetry tweet, I will unfollow you. <laughs> Hashtag unfunny. You know what? I'm going to follow that guy. Yeah. Jordan Renslow. That's what he wants, though, dude. Yeah, I'm going to give him jo- – that's at Jordan. You know what? I don't do underscores. If you've got an underscore in your yeah, head – Yeah, fuck you, dude. If you pick a new name. If Yeah, change your name. Jay Moore, here you are. Follow. I just follow – wait, did I follow you? Or I didn't by accident. Did and like I said – Fake follow? Like I'm going to follow you just so I would follow you? No, I read your tweet and I got off of it. The podcast has been over for a while. This is like the end of Ferris Bueller. The, the Jerry, the Jerry uh, Springer where he sits down and talks to the camera. This is – 